Nigel would test to see whether a player, I guess, had got the bottle and how they would react to the criticism that he wasn't afraid to give in public. Some people think that's right, some people think that's wrong, that you don't criticise players in public, but that was Nigel's way. After certain games, you know, at half-time, he would give you a scene down in front of the lads and you had to be able to take it and move forward and then respond. It was always calculated and, well, the first time I ever met him, he was playing Countdown in his office and that was when I, I walked in and uh, he was talking away with his staff and uh, he said, I've, I've got an eight, what have you got? And I was like, I think I was a five or something ridiculous and he went, oh God, you won't do for us and get out. Having spent longer under Nigel Clough and getting to know him as a man as well, it's just a test of character, a complete test of character. He was a tremendous, honest bloke. Trust was, was phenomenal, the amount of um, trust he gave you as a player and um, love without actually giving it you um, was, was, was phenomenal. He had something about him, which I don't know what it is and to this day, that made you want to run through brick walls for him, made you want to play when injured, made you think about the game and prepare as well as you could do.